The Tippecanoe School Corporation has 100 fewer kindergartners this school year, and a House bill passed earlier this year may have something to do with it. House Bill 1001 was passed in March. News 18's Trevor Peters explains how a provision in that bill has now led to some unhappy parents, educators, and lawmakers. In Indiana, to get into kindergarten, you have to be five on or before August 1st. But parents can appeal if their four-year-old missed the cutoff. Maybe they were born August 2nd. Maybe they were born August 20th. And they're ready for kindergarten. We've typically enrolled those students. But now the state won't give schools funding for four-year-olds. This change comes under House Bill 1001. State Representative Sally Segrist authored the bill that gave districts an additional $100 million from the state to account for an increase in unplanned students this past school year. We wouldn't have been able to keep tuition supplements stable because the amount we budgeted didn't include those extra 6,000 students. At that point, it did not include the kindergarten provision. Once the bill went over to the Senate, Senator Ryan Mishler wanted the provision added. Well, some schools kind of found a little bit of a loophole, and they started enrolling kids at four early, and they, they advertised a pre-K program, and then they retained them for a second year of kindergarten at age five. If the state was going to help with funding, he says schools couldn't do that. So the only way to stop that was to say, you know, that's fine, then if you want to have your waiver process to allow a student in at four, then you'll have to pay for them. The school funding bill, along with the new kindergarten provision, was voted in by the Senate. It went back to the House, and they did not concur. And the reason I dissented was precisely because of the tuition cutoff date. It then went to conference committee, and in fear of losing the whole bill, the House concurred. Nobody's happy. We're not happy. The House isn't happy. Um, the superintendents are not happy. Parents are extremely unhappy. Handback attributes the 100 fewer kindergartners this year to a low birth rate in 2013 and this kindergarten provision. And since they're on their own for funding, they were strict about August 1st. Then there's not a whole lot of wiggle room there because, you know, the appeal process still exists, but with schools not getting funding for those students, obviously makes that very difficult to educate those students. Trevor Peters, News 18. Well, that provision goes away on June 30th of 2019.